Street racing. When most of us think of street racing, a scene straight out of Fast and the Furious pops into our heads. Illegal racing where public roads are the course and the rules are ignored. Now in most places this is kind of exactly what happens. But you see, the Midnight Club did it different. The Midnight Club was a Japanese street racing crew, but they had a strict code of ethics to prevent any of the members of the club endangering a member of the public or any other members of the club. Now this club just had one goal, to build and race the fastest cars the world had ever seen. The Midnight Club was founded in 1987 and in order for you to join you had to meet the high entry requirements. The minimum requirement being that your car is capable of going over 250 km per hour or 160 miles per hour. Now if your car could reach 250 you would be at the back of the pack. As the Midnight Club used to race along the Wangang Highway between Tokyo and Yokohama at sustained racing speeds upward of 300 km per hour. Now if you did manage to get into this club, it wasn't easy to stay there. For the first year after you joined, you would be an apprentice. And you would have to go to every single meet and race, which seems easy. But remember, street racing is illegal and club members were wanted criminals. In fact, most races and top speed attempts would end in police chases. Although the police never managed to catch a single member. But how? How did they manage to evade the police for so many years while being the most infamous racing gang in all of Japan? I mean, was it that difficult to catch them? Could they not just find out who the drivers were and just go straight to their houses? Well, that's the thing. Secrecy was paramount, even within the club itself. Members of the club were not allowed to know the details regarding the personal lives of other members and only knew each other on the basis of first names. Races and crew meetings were organized by posting cryptic advertisements in the classified section of the newspapers and only the members knew how to decrypt the code. Now this racing crew was not interested in drag racing or even drifting. They were solely focused on top speed runs. A club member was once quoted, Drifting is for the weak, we only do maximum velocity. So these races were on the Suto Expressway between Tokyo and Yokohama and the only way that you could win a race was by crossing the finish line first or creating such a distance between you and the other races that they could no longer see your car anymore. Now during most of these races the cars exceeded 300 km per hour and some of them even went over 330 on a public road. Unfortunately for the police, Japanese police cars of the period were limited by law to 170 km per hour, so losing them was easy. Onto the cars that they used, the club members weren't young, dumb and broke members. Instead, the members were wealthy businessmen and as a result, the cars weren't cheap. Common cars in the club were Italian exotics such as the Lamborghini Countach or the Ferrari Testarossa. They also had some true JDM gems such as the Skyline GTR, RX-7 and Toyota Supra. Now the most unique thing about the club and the reason why they were so respected was the code of ethics. Unlike most street racers who typically drove recklessly and dangerously, driving safely at speed was super important. Now you might say, how do you drive safely at speed? Well, the drivers within the club were highly skilled drivers. If racers lacked the skill to remain fully in control of a car at high speed or just once, they displayed dangerous driving or careless behavior, they were kicked out of the club. Now since they were so notorious, many young Japanese street racers that weren't a part of the gang would fraudulently decorate their cars with the iconic midnight decal. And that was a no-no and offenders would often wake up to find their cars vandalized and with the sticker missing. All of this lasted till 1999 when they disbanded. Like I said previously in the video, these guys lived by a code, a code in which they would never endanger any civilians. In 1999, an altercation with the notorious and mischief-loving members of the Bozozuku Motorcycle Club broke out. The race traveled into a high traffic area, resulting in an enormous crash where two Bozozuku bikers were killed and six innocent civilians were hospitalized. Club policy dictated that endangering innocent drivers was the ultimate offense and so the gang permanently disbanded with immediate effect. All members have since secluded themselves to secrecy. 
Over the years, many have speculated regarding the identity of possible ex-members, but no one really knows, as none of them has ever come forward admitting that they were once a part of this infamous group. Let me know down below what you think of the Midnight Club, and just street racing as a whole. Um, I think this Midnight Club, the whole story is pretty cool, it's just sad how it ended. It wasn't even their fault, because they had such strong ethics behind them, they had to break up. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car related, um, just go through my channel, I've got so many stuff on cars, so if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?